It was um, in the escape and evasion that we were escaping across Wales and um, we had an altercation with a Welsh farmer. <laughs> and it's funny because I always wonder whether that bloke is listening, but we ended up going into a barn and you're not supposed to have any civilian contact whatsoever. Everyone cheats and it's just the name of the game, but don't get caught. And then we got a lift off the guy um, and then that night, you know, we, we were trying to get out of his car. We couldn't get out of the back. And he's pissed out his face. He had his, his handyman was driving the car. And um, we managed, we were like, ah, Glenn, let us out, let us out. He said, I'll let you out, lads. And we could hear him get out of the car. And then we heard this thud. And then one of the lads managed to smack the doors open. We ran off. And then two days later, we're pulled in and given a field interrogation. And they knew exactly what had, what had been happening. And what had happened, the guy had fallen out of the car, smashed his head on the floor, gone to hospital and said that he'd been beaten up by the SAS. Yeah. And then we're off the course. Fucking oh, two how? days. Two days after six months.